let's do this. All right. It's gonna be fun. Uh, I think this is four elements. Crazy as that is. We need a style tag. Background is that a body around it and flex shirt got a flex wrap wrap yep and a p tag needs to be like that let's say uh, oh actually it should be that shouldn't it mm -hmm. and then the color should be that and margin zero right height is like what 100 i don't know 120 width of 180. Okay. What's missing? We're missing a gap. Well, gap. Is it 20? No. Then we need a margin of zero here. Uh huh. How close is that? It's the width, right? A little too wide, so 75. And not tall enough, 125. Gap needs to be 50. But now we just need to take a little bit of a edge out of each one of these guys. And let's use my favorite, the conic gradient. Uh, conic gradient. In the bottom corner, which is Which is what? What is it? Uh, orange, 75%. Going to a purple, zero, right? And it's at two pixels over, two pixels down. Little further over, huh? 100 over. 105 over. And 60 down? Nope. 55 down. And it should be. Weirdly, is that close? No, not really. Uh, we need the background. We need to be all right. So I put pink on the other part of it. So what's what do we need to do there? I'm just doing the upper left corner right now. So how close can we get to that? Uh, we need an at, we need an at. No, our, our specific thing is we're getting from here. But that's fine. We want from... Oh, do we need the size to be bigger? Actually, I'm not sure. Funky. What happens if we make this 50? Not 550, 50. That's closer. No. Uh, 
So let's do zero, zero, and then we'll move it by doing, is that a bad idea? Maybe that was a bad idea. Screw it. Have the background be? Okay. That's where we, so this is where we are. Let's submit it. We submit it and we get our streak still. Oh, did it not go? All right, so we get 90%. Not very good. Oh, and we're not doing the rotates yet, right? So we still need to do the rotates. Uh, and for that, my technique is to do X and then Y and then X, Y. How does that work? Do a transform, scale, bar, X, comma, bar, Y. And we make X of 1 and Y of 1. Then, for the X attribute, we say minus 1. And then for the Y attribute, we also do minus 1. So dash dash X colon, dash dash Y colon. Now you can't see that that's doing that, but if I do a linear gradient, 45 degrees, comma, this, comma, red, and you can see that that's uh, doing what I want. Of course, that's not what we want, but it's, uh, so it's reflecting acro across the axis, right? So we're doing the scale of minus one, and that means it's flopped, flopped that way. And then a scaling of X minus one means it goes like that. So that's my, that's my technique for a symmetry like this. But we didn't want to do the background that way. I want to do something wonky. And I'm going to do a clip path. Clip, clip path. And that's going to be a polygon. Uh, we start at zero, right? 100% zero. So that's upper left, upper right. And then we're going to go down to what? We go 100% over and then 50% down. And then we got to go inward. So we do 80% over and 50% down. We go down, we go 90% or, yeah, 80% over, percent over, and 70% down. You can't see any of this yet. Uh, why? because I have no semicolon. So you can see that there. So this is one of those things about CSS. It's so brittle, right? If you don't have that semicolon, then it simply doesn't understand what that clip path is because that value begins with the polygon and continues to sucks in the height as part of it. And that's, of course, not valid syntax. So always include a semicolon. Where were we? We're 80%, 70% uh, down. And then we want to go, what, like 60% over. And then again, 70% down, right? And then 60% over. I'm really just making these up, and I'm not checking because I'm speeding, even though it doesn't seem like I'm speeding. Zero, 100% is the last thing. So that's kind of right. So what do we got wrong, and can we use percentages? So that first one is too low. So what is it, 40? Oh, that's too high. How about 45? Maybe it's 44. 44 could be right. And then over 65. Oh, no, 70. No, it's not the down. So we need to go over, what, 85? Sure, 85. Uh, 86, 86. 
Yeah, 86. And then let's go down. What, to 80? Maybe. Is that it? That's the bit. Did we get it? It's the bidding. That's 99.9% .9 correct. So it's close, but it ain't right. So what are we missing? So on my screen, and you could probably see the little hints of outlines there, uh, we see that it's just not quite right. So is it possible that this height is wrong? If we do this, that seems like a dumb change, but it is a little bit better, a little. So we just try it. We just keep trying it. That's worse. So that's 99.4%. So that sucks. That was a dumb idea. So undo that. So I think uh, it's not something like that. No, of course not. All right. So let's get at these. These are the ones that were the problem. So 44% of the height of 125 is what? I don't know, I can't do math. Let's just do 60 pixels. Uh, 55 pixels. Let's call it 55 pixels. Is that better? Let's try it. Let's see if that fixes us. We're submitting again. Ninety nine point nine. still. It's not worse. Not better, but it's not worse. Okay, so... This 86% is problematic. 86% of 175, what is it, 130? No, 100? No, 3, 4, 150? 150? 150? Could it be? No, that's not right. That's not right. Oh, I see. You gotta change the units, Joe. And then 150 pixels. And let's see if that gets us to 100%. It's so geometric. There's 100%. Okay, so we'll take that. Um, we might be able to undo that percent and get a few more pixels off, but eh, that's fine. So now we run my minify clump. And I'm going to run my unit replacement, which probably will do good there. And we submit. And make sure we still at our 100. And we're done. And then I'm out. That's it. Thanks for watching.